Hello and welcome to another episode of GoTo Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fractal Design Define S. The Fractal Design Define S is a mid-tower ATX case loaded with features that enthusiasts will appreciate. All this comes in at a very reasonable MSRP of 89 US dollars. So let's see what features this case has that set it apart from the rest and why I chose it for my own personal build. The front panel is clean and understated with a nice brushed plastic texture that sets the design tone for the rest of the case. The side panel features a plexiglass window which shows off the seemingly empty nature of this case. The Define S opts for less clutter in the main compartment in comparison to the Define R5 to allow for optimal airflow and cooling solutions. The plexiglass itself is pretty standard fare and is pretty susceptible to scratches and scuffs, so do be careful when either working in the case or moving the PC around. I do like the large view it offers into the build, however. To remove the side panel, you loosen two retainable thumb screws, a detail I have come to appreciate as I build more systems. I do wish, however, that this panel could have been of the swing out variety, but that's just a preference and likely cost prohibitive. As you can see, the open space in the case allows for extensive cooling options. Included are two fractal designed GP14 140mm fans with one up front and one in the rear. There is also room for CPU coolers up to 185mm tall. There is also plenty of space for large graphics cards, allowing GPUs up to 430mm in length. With a 120 or 140mm fan installed on the bottom, a PSU up to 180 or 170mm respectively can fit. With the bottom fan installed, PSUs up to 300mm can be used. There are 7 expansion slots and a rear exhaust fan mount for both 120 and 140mm fans. The front panel pops off easily and reveals a large removable dust filter to prevent dust from coming through the intake. The dust filter is held in place by magnets and is easily removed for quick and simple cleaning. The front can accommodate up to 320mm or 140mm fans for intake and can handle radiators up to 280mm or 360mm. The front I.O. is situated at the top of the case with the standard fare of options, including headphone and microphone jacks, reset switch, large power button with blue LED, and a pair of USB 3.0 ports. The bottom dust cover is accessed in the rear, though I would have preferred for it to be accessed from the front for easier accessibility, but that's just a preference thing. The mesh on the dust filters are extremely effective at catching dust and do their job extremely well. The top of the case is very interesting, as Fractal Design has implemented what they call their Modivent system. There are three removable panels allowing you to cover up the unused portions that are not populated. Each panel features a thick sound dampening material to help keep system noise down. It should be noted that the fan mount points are offset, leaving a large gap where the dust can still enter in, though it would have been nice to see some sort of filtering here to prevent dust. The top can handle 320mm or 140mm fans uh, with radiators up to 360mm or 420mm, though you'll have to be mindful of the width as you start running into clearance issues with the motherboard and VRM heatsinks. My 280mm radiator was a very tight fit, and I could see how some radiator fan combos could potentially struggle. The back panel is similar to the front panel and also has retainable thumb screws, but rather than featuring a side panel window, it has a thick sound dampening material similar to what we saw on the Modivent panels. The back panel features plenty of room for cable management, as well as three brackets that can hold up to three 3.5 inch drives. There are also two large rubber grommet cutouts for easy access to the motherboard. There are also two 2.5 inch drive mounts for SSDs. Above that is a large cutout for easy CPU cooler installation. There is a lot to like about the Define S. Lots of room, excellent cooling options, and ease of use. Personally, I chose it to have 340mm fans for optimal intake. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find a mid-tower case that features 340mm fans as intake. Overall, I highly recommend the Define S to anyone looking for a feature-packed, minimalist mid-tower case with lots of cooling options. Okay, so there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter to see some of my latest projects and some of the things that I'm working on. Uh, you can follow me at GoToTechReviews. And as always, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next week.